Hello, good afternoon out there. This is Dong. Now, this is a Fujifilm X-Pro1. Is this still relevant in 2023? Or just your typical classic vintage uh, digital camera from the yesteryears? Um, let's discuss and see what are the parts and features of this camera so that we can determine whether it's still relevant or just your average vintage old fashioned digital camera. Take a look at this one. This is the uh, Fujifilm uh, X-Pro1. Well, one of those uh, iconic uh, digital cameras uh, in the past years. But well, for so many years now, I'm into uh, film photography. I have uh, acquired quite a lot of medium uh, format cameras such as Pentax 6x5, Mamiya 6x5, Mamiya 6x7, Hasselblad. These are amazing cameras. Since uh, the um, prices of uh, film now is very high there's a need for me to take advantage of the situation whereby I need to look into the uh, digital cameras now one of the reasons why I got into this uh, film is that this looks like the uh, vintage camera actually people won't realize that uh, this is a digital camera nevertheless since because of the uh, features we have here uh, this is, camera is very awesome and this one looks sexy compared to some other uh, digital cameras available now in the market such as Nikon, um, Canon, Tipac, some of them, the features are very very sophisticated and therefore you can always surmise that these cameras are very very high tech. Unlike this one, you see, it's, it looks primitive actually, but I can always say that uh, this uh, X-Pro1 is best for street photography going to the streets in the city, you know, having this in your uh, hand. Uh, you won't be noticed by people that uh, you are actually into um, this photography. Because if you are using the uh, DSLR type uh, digital cameras, people will always see that uh, you are a professional photographer and therefore they, they might be intimidated. The people will somehow uh, shy away whenever you take pictures. Unlike this one, this looks like a vintage camera uh, for tourists. You know, uh, and uh, people who don't really care whether you are taking pictures of them, although you have to be discreet. So people will always shy away whenever you take their pictures, and you won't really be uh, getting quality shots coming from these people. And in fact, you will be uh, you you don't feel good because uh, people will always look at you and stare at you, and somehow uh, they won't really feel comfortable taking their pictures. But with this um, Fuji. X-Pro1, this is uh, inspired by the um, rangefinder of the 50s and the 60s, particularly the Leica M uh, bodies, whereby the um, viewfinder is on the left, okay, and uh, it's it looks sexy actually, it looks beautiful, and um, the, the aesthetics very very vintage and very reminiscent of those uh, film cameras. That's why uh, most um, street photographers are really into this camera and not only that uh, one of the key features of this uh, Fujifilm X-Pro1 is that this has the so-called film simulation and not only that there are lots of um, lenses that are available on the market of course the Fuji non and of course there are third-party lenses such as this one this is the uh, 7 artisans and you have also the uh, TT artisan these are quite cheap quite um, quality lenses made in China but don't expect too much because uh, there are some uh, quirks and features that uh, you might find uh, quite uh, annoying at times we look into the sensor of this uh, X-Pro1 it's very small okay this is a uh, 16 megapixel camera it's very small compared to some other cameras but don't be fooled by such a size because this one takes quality picture but of course, this Fujifilm is well known for its uh, quality um, sensor and the uh, rendition and the contrast of the pictures that will be taken from this camera 
they are quite uh, extraordinary. This um, X Pro One may be one of those vintage um, digital uh, cameras. Nevertheless, um, still good today, to get, uh, this year, 2023. And I can always truly say that uh, it still takes great pictures, even if this one is only 16 megapixel, but uh, with the JPEG that is available and everything. Here you can click and go to your um, Lightroom for you to um, make some minor details of the picture. But for me, I, I, I prefer to post pictures um, with the raw uh, picture taken from this camera. I don't like editing uh, pictures because I, I, I want it to be organic, be natural as possible. Do you feel like uh, pictures taken by this camera? Although to be honest, I'm really into film camera and I'm, this is just a secondary camera for me, the digital camera because I really want to take pictures of the family, friends, you know, some events uh, using the um, film-based camera such as the uh, visual format camera. I really prefer that one, but this one is only an, uh, an option for me, an alternative. Although one thing that I truly miss to using this uh, X-Pro1 compared to a film camera is that in film camera you have to be intentional. Every picture you take, you have to make the composition, the proper exposure, proper aperture, AC and everything. And you have to select what your best uh, subject as possible. Like this one, you have all the luxury in the world to take pictures. One, two, three, four, countless. There's no limit. Why? Because you can always delete the pictures that you've taken you did, uh, that you don't like. And like in a film camera, chances are there's no chance for you to know what was your exposure unless you take the film developing um, shop and then for it to be developed and then you'll see what are the exposures. Okay, for me, this digital camera is more of a uh, thing that you have to use on a daily basis without however uh, breaking the banks because uh, you have to choose the uh, files that you have taken for you to bring it for it to be developed and chances are since i bought this one and i have this uh, x pro 3 and of course the um, x100 uh, s these are also phenomenal cameras and iconic cameras from the Fuji field but i don't see the point in uh, right now in take, selecting pictures and then bringing it to developing uh, a shop because uh, you can always look into the pictures you have taken on your smartphone, on your laptop, you know, even in the back of the uh, this uh, camera. I enjoy this one. Definitely, there's a question about it. But I enjoy most the film camera because of the fact that uh, you are so intentional. You have to be focused. You have to know your composition and everything. But this one is more of a point-and-shoot camera rather than a professional camera. Of course, that is my personal opinion and of course, I will always respect some other people's opinion as far as the film camera and the digital cameras are concerned. But for me, again, uh, as I was telling you earlier, still, film camera is the best. So if you're talking of this uh, X-Pro1, one thing that comes into your mind is the fact that this has two features with respect to the viewing of your subject. That is the electronic viewfinder and the optical viewfinder. Now there is a toggle switch right here that simply toggles this uh, one. And then you can now have an option of an electronic viewfinder or an optical viewfinder. Okay, there you go. So for composing your uh, image, uh, if you want to look into the image and uh, determine the depth of field of your uh, subject, you can probably use the electronic viewfinder. However, for purposes of the um, analog experience, there is an option for you to use the optical viewfinder for you to just simply compose your um, subject and then uh, you can actually see the subject real time. And like in the, an electronic viewfinder, the subject that you're looking into is uh, electronically enhanced and therefore there is somehow a uh, difference as far as the uh, actual image you're looking to and composing for your picture. So one of the features of this uh, X-Pro1 that some other cameras do not have is the fact that you can adjust or change the setting of your optical viewfinder from that of a wide focal uh, viewing or a typically uh, standard focal viewing by simply uh, toggling this one, pressing this one for a couple of seconds and then you will see this will, uh, the uh, other mirror will slide 
then it will change the optical uh, viewing experience that you'll have okay that's the other one and then you want that's the uh, wide angle optical viewfinder if you want to go to normal viewfinder uh, you can again toggle this one and then just hold on to it for about a couple of seconds like this and then it will go to the different uh, uh, optical viewfinder experience now uh, this is the first iteration of the X-Pro1 the second one is the X-Pro2 and the latest iteration right now available in the market is the X-Pro3 whereby there is an available uh, small screen right here that you can see what film simulation you are using in and if you want to uh, look into the um, image that you have taken just simply um, lift the uh, screen downward and then you will see now the uh, images that you have taken now this is actually the big brother of the XE1 uh, it's basically the same uh, features except for the fact that there is no optical viewfinder as far as this XE1, XE2, XE3 uh, are concerned so it's it's a bit cheaper compared to this one the, the latest one is the XE4 if, if I'm not mistaken it's about 26 megapixel now another uh, Fujifilm camera that is very iconic right now is this uh, X100V there are quite a lot of followings as far as the cameras concerned, although it's typically the same with this one, except for the fact that that one has a fixed lens that is uh, 23 millimeter, that's equivalent to 35 millimeter in a full frame uh, camera. So that is another uh, camera that's very, very famous to street photographers, so that can be used to wedding photography and other um, hobbies as far as photography is concerned that you have. But it's, it's more of a um, travel companion camera because of the fact that the lens is very small. It's a pancake lens that is really fixed into the body and then you can carry that anywhere you go. So it's more of a point and shoot camera rather than a professional camera. Although the, the quality is very uh, high, of course. We have come to our conclusion. The question is, is this um, Fujifilm X-Pro1 still relevant in 2023? The answer is yes. Why? Because if you're into analog photography and you are considering the cost of buying your film right now, then you have to consider this X-Pro1. Why? Because this one looks like an analog camera. This takes quality pictures that you can uh, have your film simulation. You have the recipes available online. And of course, this is not too costly because you can always take numerous pictures. And like now we have a seat. Nah, it not summer of it. Spalabit the Bahut do you have gallus that sushi? Sit small, but you know, sushi.